Hey everyone, Survival for the Family here. Well, here it is. We've been given the official warning. The best source about inflation that you're going to possibly get, CEO of Walmart, Bill Simon, came out today, says U.S. consumers face serious, and I got my Richard Nixon air quotes going there, serious inflation in the months ahead for clothing, food, and other products. And understand clearly that other products means all that other stuff that you need for your everyday life. Not only that, just a few weeks ago, it was estimated that we will be seeing $5 a gallon gasoline in most of the country at the beginning of the summertime. So for all those people like me that are, you know, just the daily living and everything pretty much it leaves you with very little discretionary spending at the end of the month, well, Basically, it's inflation time. This is going to be um, something that is dramatic that literally makes you angry when you're going grocery shopping because you're going to start to see price increases on every single product across the board. And it is inevitable, and it is all related to the fact that the dollar is being printed into oblivion. And so what this is your warning to do is to take action for yourself and that action that you need to take if you don't have much in the in the in the in savings is and if you have first of all small kids you should probably go get some clothes that uh, will be the next few sizes up take advantage of that get some extra shoes for your kid the crap they're going to wear out in the next couple years get it while you can get it cheap um, the second thing you're going to want to get is all of those household items like soap toothpaste toothbrushes general hygiene items that are going to be insanely expensive come in the future. Um, and these are all tying for a close first place, and you can pick and choose which are more important to you. Obviously, uh, you are going to want to stock up on non-perishable food items that, you know, and a lot of these canned goods are good for a couple years at this point and, and so on. But you want to get what you can as far as all of these items. And if you're in a in a one income family now and the other the one income you have is in it i guess in a precarious position if there was a big downturn in the uh economy that you might be a zero income family it's even more imperative that you cut down your spending and you start to save and uh saving saving now is what i consider saving products because Every product that you go buy this weekend is going to be locked in at a price. You're going to be, it's going to be an item that you're going to use in the next few years, and you will be saving money because more than likely, according to CEO of Walmart, the prices are going to go up substantially. We're talking 20, 30, 40. Some products probably 100%. Some products may triple in price. Um, it just depends. And then with weather and food commodities and whatnot, it is all a wild card. And so what you can do to take action is start putting away the things that you think you need the most and don't forget to put away food because people need to keep in mind that a lot of the food we eat today comes from other countries because corporate agriculture has taken over and we import because just like regular manufacturing, they've exported that manufacturing and the growing of food to other countries. And if the dollar is severely weakened – the United States won't be buying as much as this food to put on our shelves, and that will make it even tighter. So just to give you a little perspective, and I'll attach this article too, this is the national debt chart from 1940 to present. For the first 40 years, from 1940 right here to 1980, an increase in a total national debt of about a trillion dollars. From 1980 to the year 2001, it went up to almost $6 trillion in half of that time. And now, in half of that time, in just 10 years, the national debt has gone from $6 trillion to 14, which is more than double. So, if you, so 14 trillion, if you take half again, in two and a half years from now, $14 trillion is going to double again. We're looking at 28, it's exponential. This is what's called going parabolic. And the buying power of your dollar is going parabolic the other way along with as this national debt chart goes up. So understand the correlation to what you can buy with your dollar to this chart because it's inverse of what you're seeing here. 
the debt goes up, your ability to buy is going to go down because they're printing money in order to help pay this debt. And that is where we're screwed. And so it's not something that's going to end in 2011 and then flatten out. This parabolic move doesn't flatten out. It crashes down, and they put in a new currency at a later date. Every fiat currency in history has done this. And so that's, that's where we're headed. Um, you need to come to an understanding and just prepare yourself. Just take this 1000 your in your, in your savings account that's going to be there for the next year. Spend it all on items that you're going to need down the road because, believe me, it will be like you tripled or quadrupled your money. And leaving it in the bank account will be like you lost half or down to next to nothing. So understand that correlation. You want to go to the grocery store, get these items, get the food items, but don't forget to get long-term food storage. You're going to need it. It's going to be something you will be very thankful for by 2014, 2015 until we get into that new system. The next Great Depression, it's all lipstick on a pig and sugar-coated BS because they're trying to keep you buying. And so take a look at storable food. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be the stuff on the screen. It could be something totally different. You need to look at how much it costs, how it's made, how it tastes, and how you think you might want to do it. Just don't go buy the crap and stick it in your cupboard, and two years later you start to bust it out and you can't stand it. Try it. Think about what you're going to do. How much can you get for your buck? How long is the food you're going to get at the grocery store going to last? Don't forget to take all of that into consideration. But most of all, take action now. Bill Simon has given you the word in 2011, by the end of this year, food prices are going to be crazy. It's not going to be you reflect 20 years to what a, a gallon of milk used to be. It's going to be months now. We've gone parabolic, and that's where we're headed. So prepare yourself. You've been warned.